today we're gonna make a Halloween drip cake for your upcoming spooky season. We need to start with our Baker's Request white cake mix. With our Baker's Request white cake mix, you can be confident your cakes will deliver great taste and texture. They bake level for less waste. This is important as you see me stack this cake because if these layers had bellies, I'd have to trim them off. First, place the bottom layer on the cake round. Next, pipe a ring of white buttercream. This is important to dampen the filling. Finally, place a little key lime pie filling on the inside. This delicious flavor combination will absolutely make sense with the decorations. Next, place another cake layer on top. This time, I'm turning it over so the bellies kiss. Dam it in again. More filling. And finally, the top layer, also upside down to help for those beautiful top edges. Next, I'm going to add in some straws to give my cake structure. You could use whatever you like, but this is a really important step when making tall, gorgeous cakes. First, I'll place the straw in and measure where the top of the cake is. Take it out and clip just below where that measurement was. Use the first straw as a guide for the next two. Place them in the cake. Next, fill the hole with white buttercream. Place a little more white buttercream around the cake and crumb coat. Next, I place these cakes in the cooler. You could also put them in dry storage if you have a nice cool dry storage. It's important to let the cake settle overnight before icing. Allowing the cakes to settle overnight will prevent lumps and bubbles in the buttercream later. The next day, it's time to decorate this cake. Now we're going to ice the cake in black buttercream. If you are making black buttercream in your shop, you know how hard it is to mix. It takes so much coloring, it turns to soup. So why bother with that when you can use our Dawn Exceptional Black Buttercream? Our black buttercream is the perfect hue for Halloween. Since it's ready to use, we've done all the mixing for you. We've also thoroughly tested the color longevity so you don't have to worry about it fading in the case. First, I'm going to rough in the buttercream. Next, I'll smooth it out. And finally, I'll smooth ice using a hot knife. Don't forget to dry off the knife in between putting it in the hot water. After that, I'm going to use some sprinkles. But once again, I'm going to use a sprinkle blend. Next, I'm going to mix together some sprinkles. I'm using a seasonal item plus an everyday sprinkle. You mix them by equal parts and together they look like one of those fancy sprinkles available on the internet, except these are affordable and readily available through Dawn. Place them on the sides of the cake. Next, set the cake back down. I'm going to add a drip onto this cake and I'm going to use a satinized glitter glaze. What I love about the satinized glitter glaze is that it adds a fun, shiny color and a hint of vanilla. It also comes in an easy to squeeze bottle. I'm using green, because that goes perfect with my Halloween cake. But you'll notice the glitter glaze is a little bit see-through. I added a little whitener so it would pop on the buttercream, no problem. Okay, let's pipe it on. Notice how I didn't have to heat, I simply squeeze it on the cake. There are lots of different methods to cake decorating. Some methods use one rosette per piece. For the visual lines on this cake, I'm going to pipe the rosette side by side. It keeps the sight lines together and gives the cake height and visual interest. We'll add a few more sprinkles on the top and voila, a spooky Halloween cake. For more spooky inspiration, visit dawnfoods.com.